What's up, what's up to all of my pole dancers? Hello, beauties. I hope you are ready to burn into your core. We're gonna sweat, you're gonna feel sore tomorrow. You're gonna wake up and be like, oh shit. <laughs> Roxy, what have you done to me? So today's class is to one, strengthen up your core and your hip flexors, your obliques and everything in this area so that you can nail your inversions, your trap grips, your choppers, your Aishas, all of these tricks that require insane amount of core strength so that you are not just flinging yourself up there and hucking your body around just using momentum which can lead to injury. So we want you to be able to do all these really cool pull tricks and then two, we want to do them in a safe way. You need to build that deep foundational stabilizing strength, especially in your transverse abs to keep your spine healthy as you do all of these inversions and crazy things and make sure that you're truly using the strength of your muscles and not cheating by flinging your body around which can lead to back pain, hip issues. We also want to strengthen up the core so that our hip flexors and psoas aren't doing all of the work for us. So this is going to be a super awesome conditioning drill set to do as a warm-up before class or anytime throughout your week to start seeing changes in how easily you can do these tricks in your classes. You will see a huge difference if you start doing this regularly and how effortless your tricks will look and how you can just lift yourself into the air and do it slowly with control. Mm, it'll be super good. So the only things you're going to need for this are one, grab a towel or like an old t-shirt, something that you don't mind sliding along the floor. We're going to be using that for one of the exercises. And then either grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell, a heavier one, like I'm using a 20 pound one. Um, if you don't have either of those, then you're going to want to post up somewhere next to like an, a couch where you can hold on to the frame, the bottom of it laying down, or the bottom of your bed frame, something that you can hold on and anchor yourself to. Um, you could also do this with your pole, if you have your pole set up at home. You just need something that you can wrap your hands around, because we're going to be doing some strengthening like that. So figure out your stitch with that, grab your water, Let's burn it out and I will meet you on the mat. All right, y'all, I am just setting a timer. We are gonna try and get through three rounds of each set in 15 minutes. Burn it out quick and fast and spicy. Go ahead and get your bell set up or your weight, whatever it is, set up at the end. Put your towel off to the side and come on down to your back. Let's begin. So first, just coming on the floor. Hug your knees into your chest, do a little rock side to side, take a deep inhale, and exhale to the side. Grounding in, plant your feet on the floor, and I want you to reach up, grab onto that kettlebell. You want your arms to be somewhat straight, um, and then you're going to ground your low back into the floor. So find a tuck in your pelvis, pulling your rib cage in so you're not splaying out. And now I want you to think about pulling your belly button to your spine to draw your legs forward. And then from there, this is going to be variation one, drawing your hips off. This is variation one, holding on to the belt, anchoring you, and pulling, using your core to mm, pull in. And just do a little round up like this. Okay, that's variation one. Variation two would be straight legs and lifting your hips up just a little bit more so don't just curl in but curl and lift and lift variation three would be to lift up roll down tap the toes and up roll down tap the toes Roll up, and now you really want to control that roll on the way down, so you're not just swinging. We are not using momentum here. Keep going. You are moving with control, pulling the core in. That is what pulls your knees into your chest. And then we're rolling down one vertebra at a time. Let's do five more. 
five. Four, move slow, even if you're just doing the first variation. Really tap into those deep lower abs to lower down with control. And last one. All right, coming up, bringing your forearms down here. Now, two options. You can either do this with straight legs. We're gonna go in little circles here, okay? So we're gonna go little circles, keeping your hips on the ground. So I don't want you rolling side to side here, or you can bend your knees. If that's gonna be the easier one, otherwise straighten your legs. And now I want you to look down at your belly. Make sure you're pulling your belly button to your spine. If it's starting to puff out, your deep core isn't switched on, so I need you to pull it in. So let's do 10, nine, eight, keep those hips on the floor, keep the shoulders relaxed, long neck, all the tension in the lower core. Five, belly button in, four, three, woo, two, pull it in, one. Okay, coming down onto your back again, taking your arms wide like an X shape. We're gonna cross leg to arm, okay? So opposite arm and leg. You wanna think about your belly button pulling down, grounding your low back to the floor to initiate that cross, okay? Again, moving slowly on the lower. We're trying to not lose momentum here. Keep that low back grounded as long as you can. Lower, lower, lower. You should feel your core working that whole time. Let's go 10, nine. Inhale to lower, exhale to crouch. Eight, seven, six, five. We're also working our active flexibility here, working our mobility, which is super good for dancers as well. Three, two, and one. All right, coming on up. Here's what you're gonna do. Fold your mat in. You're gonna place your hands here. Get your towel. Put your toes on the towel. Take a plank. We're gonna do our pike slides. So you're gonna come up, trying to get your hips over your head as much as you can. Spread your fingers on the floor. Distribute the weight evenly through your hands. Pull your core in and then slide out. Now as you come back down, you're not just dumping and letting go. You are coming back to this nice, strong plank. Let's do 10. Exhale. Look up, look up at your belly, pull it in. Exhale, seven. Six is super good for your Aishas. Four, three, two, one. Slide out with control and knees down. Clock to the side. Straighten your mat out. How are we doing? Perfect. All right, from the top, grab onto your weight or pole. Feet off, you can take this, whichever variation, or all the way up, and then doing a toe tap. All right, let's go, we've got 15. Swinging, you are trying to 
Oh, like poke the ceiling. You're not just trying to swing your legs over your head. You're trying to lift them up. All right, that's nine. Eleven. 
10. Oh, let's do it, y'all. We got 10 more. Nine. Belly in is what initiates that movement. And if you're tapping the toes, again, exhale to whoa, draw those legs back up. Don't just tap and fling. No momentum. All muscle control. All right, we've got five. Don't forget about your breath. Four. Three. Okay, let's do it. Lift up, core in, belly button drawing the spine. Let's go 10. Pull in, look at your core. You can do little small circles. Woo. All right, seven, six, five, fight for it. You should be shaking. Four, three, stay lifted through the upper body. Belly down, one, zero, oh, okay. Coming down, take that X. How much time we got? Perfect, we got one minute, let's go. Inhale, exhale, cross. Power, control, ah. Nine, eight, lengthen as you lower, seven, Six. See how I'm slow on the lower, working the core till the very end. Five. Lengthen as you lower, working the core all the way till the end. Got it. Let's do one more for good measure. Woo, and use the core to come up. So strong, all right. Flip the mat over. Last set of pikes, y'all. We'll do a little cool down. Your strong baddies. Okay. All right, let's do this. Coming on to the towel, onto the mat. Ah, strong through the core and pulling the belly button in. See how I'm dropping my head here to look at my belly? And then pull it out. Exhale. And inhale. And it's three. Nice and slow. Burn it out. Four. Five. Working those arms. Six. Seven, eight, oh my god, only made it halfway. <laughs> Nine, last one, inhale here, exhale, and slide out, ten, coming down. <coughs> Hold your mat out, let's come into a sphinx pose here. Drawing the elbows back, shining the heart forwards. Stretching out the core a little bit. Let's exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Beautiful, all right, let's roll onto our backs for a moment here. Pull that right knee in, extend the left leg out. Take a twist here. <sighs> Let's 
Getting that carbon dioxide out of the body. Exhale, center and switch. And take a twist here. And back to center. Let's take a bridge pose to balance out the front body. Rolling the booty off the floor, peel the spine off, interlace your hands underneath. And rolling back down. All right, hugging your knees into your chest and let those knees fall open into your hands here. Beautiful, and rocking back. And rocking up. Good job, my friends. Drink some water. Go crush it in your class. If you like this video, like and subscribe so you can get more yoga for dancers, fitness, training, core activation, goodness. And I'll see you guys in the next class.